A cheap life doesn't mean a lack of money. It means lack of understanding of what you will do with the amount of money that you have. It isn't about being mean, but rather being careful with the things that truly matter and of great importance. In today's video, we will discover the 15 signs of a cheap life. Number 1. You are always sick and unhealthy. Poor health will cost you a lot of money to be spent for medication and consultations. It will also take much of your time at home or in the hospital instead of doing things you love and enjoy. Your working hours will be disrupted as you will consume much of your leave. Sadly, you cannot live your life to the fullest. A little reminder, we're not talking about chronic illnesses with no cure and out of the patient's control. Instead, we're talking about constantly weakening your immune system by not nourishing your body and taking care of yourself. Immune system fails as your body is constantly subjected to stressful environments. Firing up your immune system should come first and should be your number one priority. However, it's often neglected due to a lack of resources or knowledge on how to alleviate it. If fortune comes along the way, prioritize health and boost your immune system. Cheap health characterizes cheap life. With cheap health, you cannot have an expensive life. You can't have a perfect life with an immune-compromised body. Your favorite clothes don't fit you anymore. The things you want to do become tough, and you're always tired even just after waking up in the morning. These are all signs of not taking care of yourself. If you want the most straightforward way to instantly elevate your life, then improve your health and surely there are no failures in doing these. None! Being healthy is the single best thing you can offer to yourself. Number 2. No sense of philosophy It is a common notion that lack of philosophy is synonymous to lack of personality. Now, before you flare up and smash your keyboard, we will clarify it. Visual cues have created mindsets for almost thousands of years. It has shaped our thinking and influenced our actions. Have you ever asked yourself why you feel a sense of discomfort when you see a broken visual pattern or if you see a discontinuity in it? Well, it's because in the past, a break in the pattern of leaves signifies that a predator was moving through the bushes and moving towards you and waiting to devour you. This has been our mindsets and we are capable of perceiving unordinary things. We have the ability to look beyond what the eyes can see. It means we have our own perception of things and just really don't mind the real picture of the world and also how the world perceives us in return. Now, when it comes to philosophy, we mean that it is the mirror of one's identity and uniqueness. It is an expression of your feelings and the outpouring of your emotions. When people are not in tune with themselves, it really shows off and can be observed from the way they see things in their environments. This is why all Instagram models resemble Kylie Jenner. When they are out of tune, they cannot express their inner self. Number 3. Relationships are shallow A cheap life also comes with short-term relationships and even untrue friendships. Imagine that you are not really close with your friends and your friendships are short-lived. You no longer connect with them and know them as just acquaintances. You only had small talks with topics that are not interesting. You are not comfortable sharing your feelings and experiences with them. You are aloof and don't want to engage in any activities with them. And the feeling is mutual. They don't want to share much of their feelings to you too. You don't really trust them as your friend and companion. This is the feature of a shallow relationship where you and your friends don't build meaningful and strong connections. 
You establish a cheap friendship with them and with yourself also. Cheap connections usually exhibit boring conversations with topics that are constantly repeated while nothing interesting are cherished. Cheap friends don't benefit people. They are temporary and don't guarantee security and support as what true friendship offers. Number 4. You are fond of material possessions. When people depend their self-worth on wealth and material possession, they become delicate and weak. Their identity only lasts for a short time and changes abruptly without notice. This explains why people piled up outside Apple stores for new iPhones. When you base your personality on famous products, you become the product yourself. New products are not expected to last, and surely, they will be replaced by newer ones which are more popular. You lose your identity and are detached from your true self. Putting higher values in a product or wealth over your values and principles is a characteristic of a cheap life. These products are expensive, but they are cheap compared to your virtues and attitude. Number 5. They don't explore and become easily satisfied. Based on facts, people are studying to get high-paying jobs and get married to raise a family. After accomplishing these things, they will be ready to die and meet their creator, for they assume that they had already lived their life to the fullest. They just followed the footsteps of their parents and are willing to die in the same spot. Very few people are willing to discover the fullness of their journey while in this world. Few are willing to explore and see what else is out there. They are the people who are enclosed in the bubbles and are not open to the thoughts of exploring the outside world. For them, the outside world is nothing but a really literal world outside and nothing can be found as interesting. They confine themselves in their hometown from where they grew up and were not interested in exploring other cities and the world. When they travel, they go for the most common tourist attractions, which do not give them new experiences to enrich their existing culture and traditions. Number 6. They have a fixed outlook. Unchanging outlook can be detrimental to an individual because it hinders progression and disrupts improvement. Outlook can be positive or negative in nature, and negative outlook can characterize a cheap life. If you are pessimistic and believe that things will stay as they are, then you will not be motivated and you lack that drive to see life at its best. Fixed outlook makes you accept the situation is permanent and you will not anymore stand to alter it. This limits you to grab new opportunities and pursue your passions and desires. By having a positive outlook, you will be more open to accepting learning and growth, and you will be equipped with skills to overcome challenges and realize your goals and aspirations. With a positive outlook, you will be ready to live a luxurious life. Number 7. Cheap people are self-centered. People with cheap lives adopt a me-first attitude and lack empathy towards others. Usually, they don't care about the consequences of their actions and they don't mind hurting the feelings of others. Being self-centered destroys important connections and prevents you from developing meaningful relationships with others. As far as you want yourself to be the first in everything, others will push you to be the last. Being self-centered will cultivate hatred rather than significant relationships. And at the end of the day, you will find yourself living a cheap life alone. Number 8. They lack goals and aspirations. Having no plans and dreams lead to a life devoid of direction and purpose. You are lost without any idea of what you want and what you want to attain in life. It's like you are being tossed over without any sense of satisfaction and success. A life empty of achievement cannot feel fortunate. 
absence of goals and aspirations will deprive you of the product of hard work and perseverance. Setting goals and working hard to achieve them gives you a sense of direction and light. It inspires you to be persistent in spite of obstacles, as well as it creates a sense of responsibility. By setting goals, you will be most likely to achieve it. Number 9. They have poor money management skills. When you lack budgeting skills and talent, you tend to overspend on the things of least importance. You'll end up overspending rather than saving or investing in things which can give you good fortune in the future. And because of these, you will be tied to debt and struggle to make ends meet. Life is intriguing if you find that challenges are easy to handle. But this will not be the case if you find yourself struggling with financial problems. Although a cheap life is not about lack of money, inability to manage your financial assets will pull you to live in a cheap way of living. Number 10. They don't invest in things pertaining to personal development. No things are more exciting than watching yourself turning into a more complex, refined, and dignified individual. However, people living a cheap life will never know this because they hate personal development. When you decide to be stagnant, avoiding change and depriving development, you put a boundary and seal yourself from the things that you can get more out of life. Number 11. They are devoid of personal values and morality. Having difficulty in making decisions and doing just what others did in spite of standing up to voice out the things which you believe is right demonstrates lack of personal beliefs and morals. Lack of personal values results from your conflict with yourself. People living a cheap life don't care about values as if they are detached from their inner self. For them, there is no sense in evaluating what they feel and assessing why they feel certain feelings. Unless they start to analyze these things, they will always live cheaply. Number 12. They have no social responsibilities. People living a cheap life want others to serve them instead of them giving the service. You can easily pinpoint the kind of life they are living by observing how they treat the waiter or the janitor. You can tell it if you see them as loud and demanding. They easily get mad for minor damages and inconvenience. They are very proud and keep their phone at a loudspeaker in public or they feel they can litter and mess things up because they know that someone is being paid to clean them. Absence of social responsibilities makes your life cheap and isolated. Number 13. They don't value others equally. People who are living a cheap life like to surround themselves with only those people who always believe in them. They are mean and don't value the opinion of others. They don't want to associate with people who will disagree or to those they think have better ideas than them. They need yes men who will always nod to their command. They like to feel that they are the center of attraction and the most important person better than others. If someone outsmarts them, then he will drop this person automatically from his circle of friends. Cheap people consider others as just part of the group but he always failed to look at the best in them. Number 14. They lack self-awareness. These people usually lack self-awareness and they don't realize their strength or their weaknesses. As a result, they don't want to discover and use their talents and abilities. They do not attempt to overcome their weaknesses because they are not interested in them in the first place. They want to act like robots who always want to follow commands and live in a predefined world. In this case, they do not need to decide for themselves or speak for what they feel. Number 15. They don't value education. As education is a significant tool for self-development and professional advancement, 
people who live a cheap life lack the will to pursue it. They considered education as simply a waste of time and money. They hate the concept that they will be paying someone to teach them when in fact they know everything. They often think that buying books needed for education is a waste of money when they can use it for gambling. Why would they need to attend lectures when they can enjoy drinking in a bar all day? For them, education is not a necessity in life and they can live without it. So hey, we bet you've seen a dozen people that shows all the signs of living in a cheap life. Can you still identify some signs? What other signs have you noticed? Let us know in the comments and as a thank you for sticking with us until the end, of course, we will give you your bonus. Those living a cheap life are proud of the way they're living right now. This is their favorite line. This is how I want to live my life. Which sounds like something that is hard to contradict. With this, the phrase ignorance is bliss comes into play because for some, it is normal for them to settle for a cheaper life and simply enjoy them. It looks good in their eyes. But if you do and sound like them, we want you to live a rich life, a life that's more satisfying and rewarding. We will help you identify these things and start changing them and to help you change for the better. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the video and make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications as always. To follow Luxoid on social media, please review the links in the text description of this video. Thank you in advance for your feedback. I am Miss Luxurious, signing off for now. Do not forget to visit our YouTube luxury channel Luxoid to explore the exemplification of the great state of comfort and extravagant living.